What's up, y'all? Two warp squids, one firefly, one attack item, and one heart in here. That's all we're missing here in Let's Play Shantae. I'm Brickard, and we are on the way to the golem mine because there's a warp squid in there. Um, as I remember, in the golem mine, it's pretty close to the entrance, which is really, really good. And I should be able to just jump in, jump out, grab it real quick. Now, is there something in this part of the world here? I do believe it is. This is the correct desert, is it not? Yes. The walkthrough I looked at mentions a male desert and a female desert, which is... I guess the male desert has the male creatures and the female desert has the female ones. This is really, really high. But all it says is I need the harpy form to reach it. It doesn't say exactly where in the male desert it is, so... Okay, I guess that's the end of the male desert. The male desert is also where the golem mine is located. This is where, remember, Sky told us to come out here and look for her birds. So I'm just going to hit up the sky here. Aha! There it is. That's my last... That should be my last heart container. Which means I should have a full life bar now. Yep, I absolutely do. Okay, let's head back to the golem mine. I'm going to try to stay low towards the horizon here so I can actually get a sense of where I am in the game world. And, oh, I didn't try out my spider attack power either. I played this game six years ago, but I don't think that I collected everything. I might have and I just can't remember, but... We'll find out. I'm going to collect everything this time because, yeah, you know, no excuse not to. And I only transform there because you can't walk through doors while transformed. Fill up a couple hearts there, that's good. I'd be in harpy form right now, but I can't attack yet. Fortunately, the attack form for harpy... your The attack power for harpy form is virtually impossible to miss. Hearts? No, gems. I don't really need a lot more gems. Um, yeah, you know what, yeah, I'm going to want at least enough gems to... Uh, fill up on the max vials before I go to the last dungeon. That would probably be a good idea. Let's do this the... Oh, stupid, I can't. I wanted to raise the elevator to the point where it was art at the top, so I could just hop underneath it and drop down, but... Wasn't on the cards. It's been a while since we've been here, huh? Yeah, go on mine. It was good times. Yeah, I'll be fun. And after this, we'll have one more warp squid. It's back in the cackle mound. This is the correct room. Remember, it was right there. Got it. Um. Now that's all I've got here in this part of the world. So the next step is to get the heck out of here and. You know what? I wonder if I can just warp from inside here. I never tried it. I want to warp to uh, Scuttle Town. Down, up, left, right. Okay. Easy enough. Doing the Scuttle Town dance. Gonna warp to Scuttle Town. This is where I have to go anyway in order to advance the plot. I'm not quite ready to advance the plot just yet. So. Yeah, this will this will be good. Watch how easy this is to find. Because chances are, when you get heart before you're gonna want to go all the way through the world and check out everything, which means you're going to find this very easily. Yay! Now I can attack in heartbeat form. Real quick, I just want to see what the uh, spider one does. That's down, down B. I figured that's what it was gonna be like. Hey, you know what? That's actually not bad at all. That's an infinite projectile weapon. I wonder how strong it is. The spider form is not very fast, not very mobile, so having a projectile weapon is probably very good. Now it's time to roll the dice, because we have to get a bunch of stuff on the other side of the world, which means it'll be a lot easier if Zombie Town happens to be in a location where it'll be helpful to us. If it's it shows up in a couple different random locations, sometimes it's on one side of the world, sometimes it's on the other. Down, up, left, left, YB. So if it's in a place where we need to go, that would be awesome. If not, we're going to have to walk quite a ways. 
which is not fun, but let's see here. I think it's always night in Zombie Town. Where are we at here? This is the the giant snails. How close is that to where we want to be? Uh, you know what? Very, very close, actually, I believe. And it's nighttime, so... Um, I forget if the graveyard is on the east or west side of this particular location, so we'll find out real quick. Should be able to grab the rest of the items I need in this... Um, the graveyard was this way. Because that's on the other side of that is Watertown, as I recall. Oh, please let it still be nighttime when I get over here. Nighttime won't last very long, I don't think. <laughs> and this will be the very last firefly. So if we've got to wait out a day-night cycle, that won't be too bad, only having to wait one out. And that's something I didn't think about. I've never seen Zombie Town during the day. Every time I've warped there, it's been night. I wonder if that's just coincidence, or if warping there makes it night, or what. So most games that have a day-night cycle give you the, gives the player some some way to uh, to screw around with it to make day and night and vice versa. There's actually I don't need to hop into the cackle mound here anyway. So grab that real quick. Get the very last warp squid. So I'll have four, and then we'll drop those off at Watertown. Go in the door. Don't kick, dummy. Yeah, and this is one we could not have possibly gotten while we were in here last time. You can't get to this one with just spider form. So, need the harpy to get it. No big deal. We've got it now. It's kind of weird that they make you go back into the dungeons with the final form to get that, uh... Those warp, those warp squids. It's kind of... Mm -hmm. Depending on the last town you put him in, I guess it may or may not be helpful, because we're going to put him in Watertown, and we have to go... Watertown you've got to visit towards the very, very end of the game anyway, because you need to give the fireflies up there, and you can't get the fireflies until you get the harpy form, which is alright. But we're going to go right up here. Oh, spikes. Watch out. No spikes. There we go. Warp squid. There's our last warp squid. So, the zombie town should still be in the same place, which means it should still be pretty close to where we want to go. Down, up, left, left, YB. Up, left, left, YB. Onward to zombie town. Zombie caravan. I call it a zombie town, but it's not a town, it's a caravan. Don't want to spend any money there yet, though. And then when all's said and done, obviously, I warp back to the monster town and we'll see about that advanced thing which means I'm gonna have to pull out the sucky emulator again I call it a sucky emulator it probably runs Game Boy Advance games great I've just never really had cause to use it maybe if I ever decide to let's play a game a GBA game we'll pull it out and see how it works but honestly I can't think of a G I, I have some good Game Boy Advance games that I've enjoyed I just can't think of any that I know well enough to let's play but Brick Road, you don't have to let's play a game you know well. You're doing Shantae, you're 53 videos in, you suck at it. Yeah, well, be quiet, nobody asked you. We're actually closing in on the very end of this video, so... Hopefully... Because since this is the very, very, very last thing I need to actually find in the game world... Go faster! This area is actually pretty easy to clear with the flight form. Sun, stay down. Stay down for just a few more seconds. Sun, sun, go away. Should be right up here. Got it! Yes! Woo! Alright, so we have everything. All the fireflies, all the warp squids, all the attack powers. That is awesome. I'm actually going to hop back to old Johnson right back here and save the game. Then it's going to be time for me to refresh my drink. And then I'm going to buckle down for the end game of Shantae. We're going to finish off this game and hopefully just the next couple videos here. Right here, save the game. Hey, what's up, Jones?
Yeah, go ahead and forget whatever information you want. You guys, I'll see you right back here for Let's Play Shantae. Click that play next button. I dare you!